Hey, it's Kev from Blender Binge. In today's video, we're going to be going over some really interesting curve drawing stuff. And I credit Blender Mania for creating this really awesome freehand curve drawing tutorial. You should definitely check out his channel. It's phenomenal. Uh, he does some really cool stuff. So I kind of took what he did and uh, I took it a little bit further at the end of this video. So I think you'll like it. So stick around and we'll get going. <laughs> So if you remember from the basic curve video I created, in order to draw out our own curves, we had to like create a curve first, okay, like Bezier. And then we had to go to edit mode, all right, by hitting tab. And let me go to material here. And then we had to delete that curve. And then we get access to draw curve where we can go in and draw our own curve, right? Well, that's all well and good. All right, but it gets even cooler than this. What I'm going to do is show you something really interesting. If I go to object, okay, and I go to my first layer here, I created kind of this weird grid with these three rings on it. All right, so if I lay down a Bezier curve here and I give it some, let's go to this little curve data thing, and I'll hit full and I'll go and give it some bevel depth and I'll give it some resolution just so it looks nice and round it should do All right? and I go into edit mode and I delete that I can now draw curve but I have these options here and there's some really cool little options here namely the option called surface so if I hit surface and I go back to draw curve and I start drawing, you'll notice that something really kind of interesting happened. Okay. It's not perfect, but something really interesting. And I'll bump this up so you can see what happened. My curve started following the surface. I painted it on the surface. All right, and what that allows me to do is go in and paint whatever I want and have it stick to whatever's underneath it. So now you see that you can paint on any surface you want. So this is one surface. I, I created this and I joined it together, but it should work on anything. So if I put in another, another circle here or a sphere, all right, I'm going to scale this guy up a bit. If I were to go back, create a Bezier curve, all right, and I'll just give it some, give it full, bevel a little bit, give it some resolution, okay, and I hit tab, delete. I go to draw curve. Options should still be on surface, right? Draw curve. Let's see what happens. Yep. It sticks to whatever's underneath it. I could always blow it up, shrink it down. So what this allows me to do is just kind of paint curves on anything I want. So it works really well for laying down wires and environments or just making a big mess like I just did here. We also have a couple of other options here. So if I go to options, surface, okay, and uh, let's change this back to Bezier. Uh, I have only first, which normal and view or normal surface will allow me to go in and paint. And instead of painting across the surface, it just kind of lets me paint up from whatever normal I'm on. See that? So I'm kind of just painting and it's going up from the normal, from the surface, okay, from the poly that I hit and allowing me to paint up. There's also normal surface, which will extend it all the way out. So if I paint here, you'll see. All right, that kind of just goes off into the distance. 
and just paints from wherever I was all the way off to the to the to the to the middle of nowhere. Okay, I I don't like that, so I'm gonna hit Control Z, get rid of that. All right, so normal view, and then there's view. Okay, view just kind of lets you go with wherever you're at. So normal view is kind of cool in that it just kind of grabs the first face that you paint on. So like even if I were to paint like off this surface here, watch. Go to normal view, create, draw curve. I'll go from one of these. All right, it comes out from there. So it's kind of cool for making, you know, I don't know, tentacles or antennas or something. Okay. So that's cool unless you make a mess. One last little thing here is your is under options you have taper radius. So this is the beginning and this is the end. How closed off it'll be. So if I go to the end and I say taper radius one, you'll see that it's gonna it's gonna start wide and it ends at a point. And same thing here if I go to taper radius, say point I say one and one, right? And I create and I draw the curve. See, it goes from zero to one to zero again. Now, another really cool thing that I'm going to show you with this is the animatable parameters of this. So I'm going to pause the video and when I come back, I'm going to show you something really cool. All right, so I've gone ahead and deleted these uh, these Bezier curves, and I'm going to create a brand new one from scratch. And I'm going to say full, and then I'm going to say a bevel, give it some depth, and resolution. And then I'm going to hit tab. I need to go to edit mode, and I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to go to options, and I'll take my taper down to almost nothing again make sure it's on surface okay that's fine offset is zero which just means it's gonna be halfway into the geometry and halfway out of the geometry alright if I said offset one it'll be above the geometry offset zero it'll be or negative one but be below the geometry so maybe I'll just put it at one so you see it on top so I'm gonna draw a curve I'm gonna go to options okay so surface I'm gonna take off only first and I'm going to create draw curve and I'm going to draw the curve on here and you see that my curve is kind of flowing around bouncing over these things hitting the floor again and now I have animatable parameters so under here resolution start and end watch this ah this is my end and this is my start. So for cool motion graphics stuff, I can keyframe this. So if I go here and I right click and I say insert keyframe at zero, and I go out to say 120, and I pull this out to one, and I say insert keyframe, I now have an animation and it'll follow the curve. Pretty cool. See that? So now your mind is probably going crazy with cool things you can do with this. So at about 10 minutes here, that's about as far as I want to go with this little curve trick. I hope you got something out of this video. If you learned, great. Uh, if you want to see more of these, hit like and subscribe and definitely hit that little bell notification so when I do create more, you'll see them. With that, I'll end the video here. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.